Dietitian Deanna here, your grocery store registered dietitian, helping you make healthy decisions in the grocery store aisle so you can make nutritious choices at home and on the go. There's nothing quite like sitting down to a nice bowl of creamy butternut squash mac and cheese. And that's exactly what we're gonna be tackling today. Adding plants to your comfort foods like butternut squash and adding more whole grains, so like whole grain pasta, can really help to decrease the sodium in your dish increase the vitamins and minerals, and adding plants and increasing fiber can help virtually every diet-related disease. We're gonna start by cooking the butternut squash. And so an easy way to cook butternut squash, and instead of having to fiddle with peeling it and cubing it when it's really hard like this, I just throw it in an Instapot or a crock pot. And you just put about a cup of water, make sure you have your trivet in the Instapot, and try to shoot, choose one that's small enough to fit in your crock pot or Instapot. Um, I had to behead mine too, so it would fit. And no need to poke holes in it, no need to cut it or anything. You just slip it on like that and seal it nice and tight. All right, so I just got the butternut squash out of the Instapot or the pressure cooker. And now I have it cut in half and I'm gonna remove the seeds. And butternut squash is very high in immune supporting vitamin A. And vitamin A um, really contributes to the health of the skin in our mouth, respiratory system, test, intestines, and stomach. And so also the, the bright color from this butternut squash um, comes from the beta carotene, that bright orange color. So right now I'm just gonna remove the seeds. Okay, so now I put a little bit of our family premium sunflower oil and I chose this oil because it's a higher heat oil which means it's great for us sauteing because it can withstand higher heat. So I threw in some about two table uh two teaspoons of garlic, um, some thyme, but you can use any type of um, fresh or dried herb like oregano, basil, anything like that. I'm gonna add some shiitake mushrooms to this and the reason why I chose shiitake mushrooms is because it's one of the few foods uh, that have vitamin D in it. Cause usually we get vitamin D from the sun, but when it's during the cold winter months and we can't get a lot of vitamin D, trying to get more vitamin D foods into our diet is a really great thing. And shiitake mushrooms is one of those. So I'm gonna saute those up and wait until the mushrooms have gotten a little bit tender, almost like an onion. All right, now that I have the shiitake mushrooms uh, uh, softened, now I'm gonna add the pureed butternut squash. Now we're kind of getting everything warmed up for the cheese to melt the cheese. So I'm gonna add this in. And then I'm going to add about a half cup of almond milk and I'm using full circle um, almond milk just for some added calcium to the dish. And depending on how thick you want the sauce depends on how much milk you wanna add. You can use regular milk, you can use cashew milk, you can use almond milk, um, but it's just going to depend on what kind of thickness you want the sauce on. And then after you have it simmering for about 10 minutes, then you're gonna add one cup of our family sharp cheddar cheese. And you wanna add it slowly so it doesn't get too clumpy and it uh, dissolves into the butternut squash very nice and evenly. And I just love butternut squash to thicken. You can put this in chili, um, you can put it in any stew, you can make some soup out of it. It's, it's just a great way to really thicken it up. And I actually like butternut squash better pureed than just chunked, so you'll have to try it and let me know. All right, and now time for the noodles. So I use our family um, macaroni noodles, and I actually put uh, cooked this in the Instapot on a one to two ratio of water. So one cup of dry pasta to two cups water. And I only cooked it for about four minutes and it just gives it the perfect texture. There's something about that pressure cooker that just cooks things really well. So I'm gonna mix in the pasta. For the one last final touch, I'm gonna add a little bit of grated nutmeg. Nutmeg uh, pairs really well with cheese and just gives it a little bit extra punch. So I'm just gonna grate a little bit of that. And here you have our butternut squash mac and cheese. Here you see that I put chicken on top of it. This one I actually put a sunny side up egg if, if it wants to be more of a breakfast dish. And then just regular uh, butternut squash mac and cheese. And th this is just, oh, just such a warm, delicious, comforting dish full of immune supporting vitamin A, vitamin D, 
Um, and if you're interested more in immune health, be sure to check out the blog um, in the comments and I'll link it below. Thanks again.